Do you want me to hold that for you? happy in your work. <laughs> I never quite believe that this is going to work. <laughs> oh, that's like confidence. That. Moment of truth. Your eyes are better than mine. <laughs> You have to be careful you don't smudge it as well as you take that off, do you? Yeah. And while I'm painting, I'm always really scared. I used to go around it all with a wax crayon, but uh, it just takes a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you can see that, Hannah. Oh, I can actually, close up. Yeah, close up. Close up, you can actually see the dots. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but it's got to be winter time as well, you know, it's yeah, got it. No, and there's only so much you can do in the winter anyway. I didn't realise you was left handed. Yeah. <laughs>
that's what I was going to ask you actually, the registration, do you want it, um, you wanted it like simple block letter? Yeah, whatever you think, or well, whatever you think, yeah. whatever you think would look best. Quite Yeah. Got a left hander to it. I've got to go and have a quick look at another job on a boat, so let's go and see uh, how she's getting on. Maybe she's finished, probably unlikely. It's a beautiful day here, it's cold though, must be just a few degrees above freezing. But it is, uh, I don't mind days like this really, so much better than uh, just chucking down the rain. All right, let's go and see how she's getting on. Okay, so that's um, that's first coat, is it, Hannah? Yeah, first coat. First coat. Uh, so, oh, I need to the cut then. Yeah, so uh, no, another coat of the black and the cream on there. I think that looks fantastic. You ought to get a job doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to do the registration number as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, then I'll come back and see uh, see what it's like after yeah, a couple of days yeah, away. Yeah, then I'll do a second coat tomorrow. Because I, I had a... Uh, decorative like line in it which i was going to do but it's up to you whether you want me to do that yeah yeah it's Just doing some checks on this very cold morning before we go away. Uh, so apologies for the, <laughs> it is freezing. Just check the antifreeze. 
uh, I've got a, a tester. Uh, the amount of antifreeze that they've put in the engine is only, only down to uh, minus seven degrees C protection. Not enough, nowhere near enough. So I'm gonna put some antifreeze in there. Uh, come to start the engine, nothing, absolutely dead. Won't start, no lights, no nothing. Just take the battery voltage and it's it's as low as I've ever seen. It's not, my meter's not even picking it up. So something has drained that battery. Now the odd, oddly, uh, there's nothing on that battery apart from the starter and the bilge pump. It's drying here, so it's not like the bilge pump has been working or it shouldn't have been. So what I've just done is just temporarily jumped over uh, a 12 volt power supply from the leisure batteries, the lead carbons are inside. Uh, I was gonna actually put a, um, a little charger on here. That's, that was the plan for over winter while we were away. Uh, I think I'll definitely have to do that. Um, like I say, the only thing on there is the bilge pump and the starter circuit itself. So can't, I'm gonna have to look into that, see why. Make sure that the alternator's charging properly. Uh, but it hasn't been, the engine hasn't actually been run since we we bought a rounder when, we, when the crane was put in. So, yeah, I need to figure that out. And if I can start it, like I say, just check that that alternator is all up and going as it should be. So I'll just let, I'll just leave those cables on, say very temporary, just to, just to bring that battery up a little bit, just enough. Hopefully that I can just kick it over and let the alternator take over. It's a very strange one. or anything so yeah I need, to, I need to look at that definitely need to look at that How 
your, your engines blow your perfect smoke rings. We noticed it. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my crimp tool. Uh, and you can see there's a 50 mil die set put in there. So that crimps down onto the 50 mil M8 lugs. All right, so that's uh, pushed onto the cable all the way to the end. Okay, so up to me. Uh, I had to actually put the smaller dies in there, and I've done that before. Um, these dies in these crimp tools, they're generally made for uh, industrial cables, which are multi multi core, but not not stranded like automotive is. So these generally crush down a lot a lot easier. So very often I have to put a slightly smaller die in just to get that crimp down. So uh, there's one of many. Right, there's the two fuse carriers put in. Uh, 200 amp fuses. This ca this cable's carrying, cable is carrying weight in excess of 400 amps. Um, so yeah, that's where, that's where the fuses go. And then they'll go up through an isolator, up into the inverted charger then. How are you getting off, Fran? Are you still? Well, I've met you. Oh, you met me? Well, you met me a while ago. But... <laughs> You're in my way now. Uh, I might be, well, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, the that's what I'll do this side. I'll be another hour or two here, I think. Yeah. Cool. Coming on. Yeah. Right. Coming on. Let's get these, uh, let's get these inverter charging, shall we? Uh, batteries are charging. Wow. Okay, so where am I? Um, we have the power. We have some power. <laughs> uh, just a bit short on cable. As always, needs about a meter. So um, I'm just running the charger through one fuse at the moment, which is perfectly okay because this most of this still delivery is 120 amps, 200 amp fuse, 400 amp cable, well protected, no problem at all. Uh, the isolator is just thrown on there temporarily. I'm going to build a box around that. And obviously, uh, let's see. You can just see at the back of there, two, one switch is used and the top switch will be for the other positive. Ah, I need to put that on as well. Battery temperature sensor, that's pretty important. Right, so we've done enough for today. Well, we haven't, we, we really should carry on. We uh, have to see some friends though, before but, but we, we uh, we're going to the, We're going to the pub. Yeah. Nice cosy fire. Easily led, that's my problem. <laughs> we've done a we've done a few hours this morning. We've done a few hours this Sunday, we've done a few hours. Yeah. Uh, again, just trying to get that boat the boat sort of ready uh, for to for to, yeah, yeah. So uh we'll say Tatty Boy, I think. <laughs> Tatty Boy. Tatty Boy. Or too often now. If <laughs> which is black country, <laughs> somebody, somebody mentioned that. Um Toodle Pip, that's another one. If you feel you overseas, Toodle Pip, too often now. Do I don't want waffling on about. So, thanks for watching. Um, there's another video after that, uh, uh, after this one, hopefully uh, before Christmas. Um, and then, obviously, we and then we'll, we'll be away for yeah, three months. So, three months. Uh, and for all of you who have subscribed to our van channel, stick with us. Stay. Stay. Stop don't don't go away. Us. Don't go away. Don't go away. So um, again, depending on the bloody COVID, whether we get there again. Don't know. So, right, we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Give us that thumbs up and keep subscribing, please. Okay, yeah. See you then, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.